Hi guys, it's Robbie here at Pass Productions. Let's make some salt dough. For this recipe, you'll need a bowl. You will need some plain flour. You will need some table salt. And you will need a baking tray. You'll also need a fork for mixing and a knife or some other objects for making markings. Now, the recipe we're gonna be using is two parts flour to one part table salt to one part water. So here's some flour I've got already. So you're gonna put the flour in the bowl and you're gonna use two mugs of flour. And I find this makes enough for around 30 students if you're in school. Next, you're gonna add in your table salt. And then get your fork and you are gonna mix them all together. So the salt and the flour are mixed in. Give it a good stir. Make sure you can't see any big clumps of salt. Make sure all the flour has been properly turned. Now make a little well in the middle. And now you are gonna add your water. Now using your fork, start to mix it all together. After it starts getting really sticky, you're probably gonna to have to ditch the fork and you're gonna to have to get straight in there and start using your hands. Roll it around, keep kneading the dough until it ends up all clumped together and you wanna get it into a nice textured ball. If you need to, you can add more water to make sure that all of the flour and the salt is caught up. So I've made my ball here, but as you can see, it's a little bit sticky. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to add some more flour to mine so I get the right texture that I'm looking for. Add just a tiny bit of flour. You can always add more if you need it and then remix that ball. So hopefully it won't be quite as sticky and it'll have a firmer texture. There we go, that's much better now. It's not sticking to my fingers anymore. It's got some nice texture and I should be able to rip that off and use that now for my projects. So there you go, your salt dough is ready.